Hey guys, it's Nick, and ooh. Hey guys, it's Nick, and this week we have a couple products that are revisions uh, that are because uh, you need you need like just enough space at the beginning of the video to like have the intro animation. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna try it again. You ready? This is our shifting micro SD breakout. Now the nice thing about this is that it includes level shifting on the board. You may be aware that we've carried a micro SD breakout for a long time, which is really nice when you need to add a lot of storage space to a project because most microcontrollers don't have a lot of onboard RAM. The downside, of course, to micro SD is that it all runs at 3.3 volts. Now, if you're using a 3 volt Arduino, that's not a problem, but a lot of dev boards these days run at 5 volts with 5 volt logic. Before, what you would have to do is buy one of our micro SD breakouts, as well as one of our logic level shifter boards, and then wire them up yourself. But we got tired of doing that here, and we figured you'd get tired of doing it as well. So we've added the logic level shifting to the board itself. So now you can add a micro SD card to your 5 volt projects without having to wire up a bunch of extra parts. Next up, we have the Konoma Create. Now we've been carrying the Konoma for some time now, but this is an update that includes Bluetooth low energy functionality. If you haven't seen the Konoma Create, it's actually a pretty cool little platform. It's a lot like a little Linux tablet. In fact, it is a little Linux tablet. It's running a lightweight Linux distribution. It has a tiny touch screen, but it also has a few things that most Linux tablets don't. For instance, there is a header at the top that has 16 pins that you can get to to add things like sensors. And these pins will talk to anything analog, digital, UART, or even I2C. Now, if you want other functionality, there are 50 pins in the back of this that you can access as well through this panel here. And these will also do not only UART and I2C, but spy communication, as well as just GPIO. Now, the nice thing about this upgrade is that it includes Bluetooth low energy functionality. So now this can become part of a system that talks to your phone or talks to other Bluetooth low energy peripherals and actually communicates with other devices in order to create more interactivity. Now, the uh, interesting thing about this that sets it apart from a lot of development platforms is that you actually program everything using JavaScript. And because it's essentially a touchscreen, you can program everything on the device itself if you want to. Uh, I really like this. I think it's fun to play with. And if you are a JavaScript developer who's interested in getting into hardware, this is a great way to do it.